Yesterday, OpenAI launched their AI agent called Operator, which basically what it does is that it does web browsing and vision automation. But here's the problem. It costs $200, right? And we can do the same with the following AI agent, which is called Browser Use. So I want to show you this agent in action because the cons of operator from OpenAI is at $200 a month is not available in all countries and it asks for a lot of permissions instead of performing the task. I know that if you pay the $200 a month, a month you might get access to O1, but as we know, DeepSeaR1 is really our performing O1, so you can use that large language model instead. So, which is the alternative, as I said earlier, browser use. So, let me give you an example. This is the task that I want to perform. Go to LinkedIn, sign in with the following credential, and then search for Tomas Canoa and send him any message you want. I give you full permission. Let's see how this goes. So I'm just running that. Let's see. My hands are on here. We will need to wait a little bit. I'm going to keep my fingers here so you see that I'm not doing anything. It's just in the landing page of LinkedIn, the signing page. Go ahead. Type the right email. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right password. There you go. And let's see how smart this agent is. Why well, keeping my finger here? Fingers. There you go. There you go. Let's see. Say in a message. My God, this is crazy. Wow. Look at that. And I'm doing anything. Go ahead. Oh, look at that. Hi, Tomas. Just want to say hello. Whoa. Let's see. I'm going to go to my LinkedIn page. Uh, to see if they send the message. Yes, he just sent the message, the right message. So you can see here, guys, this is the future. We are living in the future. So you can use these for other use cases for your company, for whatever you imagine. Just use your imagination and start prompting these agents, which are crazy. And this is totally free. So you might ask yourself, how can I run this agent? So let me show you how. So first step is go to browser use GitHub repository. So I'm going to show you the repository. So once you're in GitHub, search for browser use repository. You will see all the code here. And I highly encourage you to read the readme file in which you're going to understand how this agent works. And here is the quick instruction on how to run this agent. So you will need to open your code editor and follow the prompts. And once you set up the agent, you will need to give them a API key and then it's running. So for example, you can see all the code here and just, you just need to run the GitHub repository. You will need to clone the repository and run it here on your machine. So it's very easy to run. And if you don't know how to run it, there are many videos on YouTube and here are some videos on how to run the agent as well. If you don't know about coding and all this, don't worry. It's very easy to run this agent and just do your research and for example, I also encourage you to read the examples so you can understand more what are some of the use cases and the different things that you can do with this agent. For example, pause on Twitter, a scrolling page, Twitter cookies, check appointment, find and apply to jobs, 
for example, on, on LinkedIn, online coding agent. There are many use cases, which I highly encourage you to read if you are more interested about this. And remember, this is totally free. And yes, it's just a matter of time. 